Hey, what's going on guys? What's up? Thanks for clicking again on another video. Thanks for joining me. Now today I'm actually going to be doing just a quick video um, on how to assemble the Husky cabinet, wall cabinet. Um, I got it in the box here behind me. Um, and I'm going to just do a quick assembly on how to actually uh, put it all together. I did one just now just to kind of do a little quick run through to see what I was going to need, how long it was going to take me. Honestly, it took me about 30 minutes. It didn't even take me much time, honestly, and I didn't even need no tools. Um, I used uh, just a quick impact driver because I had it just nearby. Zap the bolt, boom, 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 and I was in about 30 minutes. I was taking my time. So come on back, join me, and uh, Let's assemble this Husky wall cabinet together. All right guys, so I don't have a tall enough tripod. Um, so I'm just gonna have to make this work for now until I can get like a taller tripod. Um, but let's get started. Um, I always like to check the hardware, lay, not lay everything out, but just make sure that everything looks intact because it's happened before where, you know, you open the hardware and stuff's missing, right? So um, everything looks intact. Um, Let's roll this thing out. All right, everything looks like it's there. Nothing's missing. Okay. I am still gonna follow the instructions, but you get to watch the video. You get to see it all happen here in action. All right guys, so uh, I'm still gonna follow the instructions just to make sure I don't mess up. I don't do a mistake. Uh, it's 2.30 in the morning, so I'm really not 100% here. Um, so I'll still follow along the instructions. You just need to sit back, relax, and watch the video, watch me assemble it, follow along if you got one at the house that you know, you're trying to put together. Now let's uh, go ahead and get it started, put it together. All right, guys, and we're back in business. Uh, quick thank you to uh, to all of you guys who are watching my videos. And I decided to go with a voiceover. My audio didn't sound quite good, but uh, here we go. Let's get started. This is the uh, three panels you're going to need. They slide right in, and uh, this is going to be the uh, the tool bit that you're going to use. Husky does a really good job of giving you everything you're going to need. Here we go. It's all packaged and sealed up. All right, now let's uh, start putting it together. Excuse me for the uh, ashy elbow there. I should probably start using lotion, but go ahead and thread them on two or three turns, and that's all you want to do. Um, I decided to go with a power tool. Um, it was super late, and I don't have time to be putting these by hand. I want to go to sleep. All right, so I decided to use the impact driver. Here we go. And I barely, as soon as I felt them bite, I back off. Don't want to over torque these. And then here we are, I'm doing the same thing um, on the other side. Go ahead, three good turns by hand, and you are uh, you're good to go to hit him with a power tool if you're going that route. All right, this guy didn't want to go in, he kept falling out of my hand. Finally got him, and, uh, and he's staying in place. All right, here we go, zap, zap, and I'm done. There you go. All right, now we're gonna move on to this top piece. You can see here there's like that, uh, I don't know what you would call it, bezel, curve, whatever. Go ahead, this guy slides right in. Just kind of having a hard time here on the uh, on the right hand side. Just didn't want to ding up and scratch things up, you know. But once it was in, the other guy just slid right in as well. Um, all right, here we go. Let's go grab some more hardware. Two or three turns, and you're in business. Overall, guys, this probably took me, if I wasn't recording and doing all that stuff, probably honestly would have took me like 15 minutes. Um, so, 
I really recommend these tools. I mean these uh, these cabinets. Um, and here we go. Now we're gonna get started on the back piece. Go ahead, put this guy back down. Yay! I'm happy. All right. The uh, the back panels. It's just two of them. And the center pieces. They're gonna one's gonna overlap the other. Doesn't matter which one's on top or whatever. And uh, here we go. We go ahead and tighten it up. It's just uh, I believe like seven or eight bolts in total. All right. Zap them. It doesn't matter which method, star method, circle. Um, it don't matter which way you do it. As long as they're in there good and tight, you know. So the doors, they're already assembled. All you gotta do is pop them in. And they actually have sliding pins that drive that drop right in to a little spot there. Alright, I started with the left one, then I moved on to the right one. Um, and they close super nice. Here I am removing the key. All right, and moving on to the shelf hooks. These hooks actually slide right in, and then this hook right here, um, that's actually gonna be where the uh, shelf sits. All right, and you have three different spots. You can put it, you can put your shelf really high, you can put it in the center, middle, or really low. Um, I decided to go in the middle, all right, so in the slot, then it falls right in. All right, let's do the other side, and you have a total of four. I didn't do the front ones, but they're in the front, tucked in right behind that little panel on each side and here we go here's the shelf just uh, basically just drop it right in thanks for watching guys thanks for watching guys and uh, stay tuned for more later